The vibe around the economy and markets has shifted in the month since we last recorded a Markets at a Glance video. Hi, my name is John Streeter, and I'm a senior analyst on the Impact Investments team here at Westpath. A month ago, we were talking about inflation. Now, we're talking about the possibility of stagflation. Stagflation is the combination of stagnating or slow economic growth and higher levels of inflation. There are now more worries about stagflation because of the most recent U.S. Gross Domestic Product Report, which reflected an economic slowdown. GDP for the first quarter of the year increased at an annualized rate of 1.6%, which was down from the 3.4% growth seen in the fourth quarter of last year. Inflation also is trending in the wrong direction. The U.S. Federal Reserve's preferred measure of inflation is the Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, a gauge which makes it easier to see the underlying inflation trend. Core PCE increased 3.7% in the first quarter of 2024, an increase of 1.7 percentage points from the previous quarter. The mood around the markets has also shifted in the month's time. The S&P 500 touched a new high at the end of March, but in April, the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones Industrial Average were all down. International equity markets also ended lower, primarily due to tensions in the Middle East, disrupted trade routes, and elevated commodity prices threatening global economic stability. One thing that has remained unchanged is the strength of the artificial intelligence growth theme. We've seen strong reported earnings in the big tech sector. Finally, we'll close by looking at the chart of the month and the cost of home ownership in this country. In February, U.S. home prices, as reflected by the National Home Price Index, reached another record high. Not surprisingly, affordability remains near historic lows. Strong demand, limited housing supply, combined with rising mortgage interest rates, are propelling home values and monthly mortgage payments upward, which is keeping affordability low. I encourage you to check out our monthly investment report for April to learn more about potential market drivers and how the markets impacted our fund performance.